welcome to the world according to Jason. Today we are at Chick-fil-A and it is really rainy, but it's okay because I brought my umbrella, Ella, Ella, and uh, I'm gonna go inside and get something very special to review today. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Now, now why is this video so special, Jason, you might ask? Well, that is because I'm sure many of you already know who this person is. There's a YouTube channel called Dame Drops that has a massive following. And I recently just saw a video that he did a few weeks back called the Dame Drops Chick-fil-A Hot Chicken or Hot Mess Chicken Sandwich. And it looked pretty dang delicious. So. He wanted to see other people review it, so I'm here today to see how it is. Is it as good as it looks? Is it worth going to the trouble for? So I came to my local Chick-fil-A, and luckily they were kind enough to oblige the request to get one of every sauce plus two of the empty sandwich packets. So I know he borrowed a tray from Chick-fil-A. Luckily I have this steering wheel tray, so I don't need to borrow theirs. But let's start putting the video together. So what you'll need is two empty Chick-fil-A sandwich bags. And this is to prevent a uh, catastrophe from happening in your car. Get all the sauces out. I am so nervous. I don't know. I like some of these sauces seem like they'd go well together, but others, mm, others, I don't know. Oh, still got. Some napkins. Boom. All right. Okay, so first step is to take out your chicken. Well, I guess actually technically the first step is to get your bags ready. So you want to put one bag inside the other just to give it the extra seal, reduce any likelihood of some spillage. Then you carefully deconstruct your sandwich. Take the chicken patty. Put it inside. So now is where the magic starts to happen. And I apologize, as I said in the intro, it is raining, it's just picked up a little bit, so I hope it's not too loud and distracting. But we're just gonna start adding the sauces. We're gonna start with the ever-reliable barbecue sauce. I'm having a real struggle bus moment, trying to get these. There we go, oh, oh yeah, yay, yay. All right, here is the barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add it. Ooh, that is runny. Mr. Dame Drops himself definitely was not wrong in that some of these sauces are super runny. So be extra careful, especially when doing this inside your car. Now we're gonna do honey mustard. Man, this is gonna be, oh, that one's a little bit easier. I was gonna say, I'm about to be struggle bussing. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, it's all right. I'm not gonna be dipping. I'm gonna be dunking. Oh, no, I'm not gonna be dipping. I'm gonna be smothering? I don't know. All right, get that ooey gooey honey mustard goodness in there. Next up, we're gonna do the sweet and spicy sriracha. And apparently there's like a worldwide sriracha shortage. So it's like the, sir the great sriracha famine of 2022. So I'm glad, Urgh. glad I was able to get some, even though I'm really struggling. There we go. Ooh, this one looks runny. So definitely be careful. Gonna add that. Oh yes. Woo! Oh, that smells, that smells amazing. Man, we're not even halfway through with all the sauces. All right, we're gonna do Polynesian next. This is one of those sauces that I was a little bit apprehensive would like blend well with all these others, but I mean, looked amazing. So gotta trust the process. You know what I'm saying? All right, Polynesian going in. Now let's do one of my all time favorites, Garden Herb Ranch. Not that this is my all time favorite ranch, but ranch in general. I mean, ranch goes good with anything. All right. This is also a little bit runny, so be careful. Going in. 
Oh, go in there, delicious white gold. Next up, now this, this is a sauce a lot of people sleep on. It's the honey roasted barbecue, and it is really tasty. And I'm probably not following the directions. Tear here. I would love to, but you're not tearing. You're not tearing. <laughs> You gotta be like the Hulk to get this open! Oh! Sweet mother of Buddha! Yay! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh man, praise be the sauce gods. We're going in. I just realized my windshield wipers have been going this whole time. Apologies for the noise. We're down to the final two. Zesty buffalo sauce. Oh, wow. You know, I don't know if I've ever tried their buffalo. Oh, that smells so good. But it is like buffalo water, and this thing is so runny. Look at this. What? All right, and last but not least, my favorite sauce at Chick-fil-A, and probably the majority of y'all's favorite sauce, Chick-fil-A sauce. Here we go. Last sauce, this stuff is the gooeyest of the sauces, so you really gotta, you gotta shake weight this thing to get it out. Come on, sweet, sweet Chick-fil-A sauce goodness. Uh, gotta have respect for the Chick-fil-A sauce. All right, let me bring you all in to see what this looks like. I mean, that lives up to its name. That is a hot mess. All right, now, you gotta do what is referred to as the Zaza roll. I mean, you gotta get this thing rolled up nice and tweet. So that way you don't gotta worry about sauce flying out all over your car. And then this is where the true magic happens. You gotta shake it and there's a song that goes along with it. Got the hot mess chicken sandwich. Got the hot mess chicken sandwich. So hot and messy. Got the hot mess chicken sandwich. The dame drops hot mess chicken sandwich. I mean, I'm shake weighting this thing and you gotta just sing it out because that Singing infuses this sandwich with magic and love and makes it that much more delicious. Hot mess chicken sandwich. Hot mess chicken sandwich. Hot mess chicken sandwich. Yeah. All right, I thought I'd throw a little Metallica in there at the end just for good measure. Well, let's see if, let's see if I did a good enough job. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a transformation. Look at that. Now we're going to very carefully extract the chicken breast from the bag. Look at that. And we're gonna save this bag for later. You know what? Because I am also a little fat, I'm going to apply the ghetto nap as it is lovingly referred to. Okay, nice and protected. We're gonna go in for the first bite. This is the Dame Drops Chick-fil-A hot mess chicken sandwich. And I'm so pumped, going in. <laughs> what? Mm. What is happening inside my mouth right now? That is a symphony of flavor. <laughs> mm. Mm. I feel like there's angels above me right now. This is a beautiful thing. It's tangy, it's sweet. I mean, I'm not getting much of a spice. I wish I was getting more from the buffalo. Maybe adding a little bit more buffalo sauce would help, but you got that creaminess from the ranch that tang from the Polynesian sauce. Oh, that smokiness from the Chick-fil-A sauce. So now you might be asking why we saved this bucket of liquid gold. And the first thing I thought was like, why didn't he dip any of those magical fries in that sauce? And then as I was reading the comments, there were quite a few that also asked about that. So we're gonna see, Woo! wow, that just, look at that. Oh, our, oh, it is dripping. All right, here we go. Oh yes. Mm. Mm. 
That is money. Now I gotta rate this. Mr. Dame Drops, you have achieved Yay! perfection. You've taken what many people regard as the perfect ultimate chicken sandwich, and you've made it even perfecter. I know that's gonna anger some of you grammarians out there, but hey, it works. This sandwich, if you live in the US where Chick-fil-A is, I, I think all of you should stop, pause this video, run to your, run to your nearest Chick-fil-A and order this sandwich. And Chick-fil-A, if by some miracle you happen to watch this, you need to reach out to my man Dame Drops and you need to give him a deal on this sandwich because this is so good and everybody should experience this. Ah! Oh man, thank you for sharing this wonderful creation with us. I'm so glad I got to try it. I hope you enjoyed my review of it. It was so awesome, so much fun to try. I'm sure most of you on my channel probably already know who he is. Link's down in the description below. Go check out Dame Drop's channel, watch his video. So in case you've been living under a rock and you don't know who he is, hop on over to his channel. Link's in the description below. Check out his video of this sandwich. It is awesome. It inspired me to come here today and try this out for myself. Folks, that's gonna bring us to the end of the video. This was such an awesome experience. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you like this video. It really helps the video get seen by more people. It helps the channel grow. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so as soon as new videos pop up, you're gonna be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end and until next time, stay curious. <laughs>